Miyagi do Karate. We have the Cobra Kai action figures here today at Total Toy Recon. Here is J Daniel LaRusso. We have John Kreese. And we have Johnny Lawrence. And for this review, we're going to be doing all three, but one at a time. This one is just going to be with the man himself, Johnny Lawrence. So as you can see, we do have the new Diamond Select box here. This is the d display window box for inbox collectors. It's really cool. Um, but we're not going to be like that today. Look, this is already coming off. Um, these little tab stickers here are already starting to pop off. We are going to open this bad boy up, see how... Uh, how cool of an action figure he actually is. So then for you guys who leave him in the box, you're going to know. And for those of you that want to pick one up and you're not sure, you're going to find out how good he is. So, um, got to say, love the Cobra Kai display box. Um, really, really nice. Uh, so that's cool. And we're just going to move on here. So we've got a nice little uh, clamshell here that keeps him nice and safe and secure. We also have a stand. Now this, um, who was it? We just did uh, the uh, Centurion Iron Man and he had this stand too, which was nice, but he was almost too heavy for it. So you had to really reduce it. And I was, I'm hoping that Johnny Lawrence would be better. Um, I'll put the review of Iron Man uh, linked at the bottom here. Just got a little tape, take care of that real quick. Um, I don't see any little like rubbery. Oh, we've got a couple rubber things here going on. So in classic diamond fashion, we've got some stuff that's just, oh wow, it's just in there. I think we've got more tape. Do we have more tape? No. Nope. Yeah, we've got some, uh, we've got some bubbles here. Look at this. So I always have wire cutters when I do my uh, diamond select stuff because these rubber bands are great for keeping the, you know, the people who use a five finger discount at the stores. But when you're trying to do them for reviews, yeah, nightmare. So we've got some extra hands. We've got a Cobra Kai stand, which is sweet. And then we do have the display thing. So let's get this out of here. I do recycle all my plastic. I don't need any of this anymore. And, ooh, okay. Um, so we do have, here's Johnny, um, you know, does it look like Billy Zabka? I'd say it's close. I'd say it's not a hundred percent. Um, but as far as, you know, figures go decent, we got a slight, I'm going to try and zoom in on it here. We got a slight little paint blem right here that almost looks like a bruise on his lip. Um, I'm going to just kind of point with his finger right there but we do have which is great we do have johnny with the flip phone why he would use a flip phone in this outfit i don't know but the flip phone is very funny in the show um and then we do have so that gives us we do have karate hand here two sets and we've got fists the way of the fist and then we do have extra hands here for him to step and i love the fact that he comes with a pointer finger so kind of would have been nice to have a Cobra Kai uh, dojo logo on the back, but we do have it on the stand, which is also really nice. And we do have a peg hole here on his back that we can pose him. So let's let's see how he does on his own. And we do have the feet move, feet move just a little bit, which is nice. And let's see how we can do just a straight up pose without any help. Because the stand should just obviously work. I do love that we have the headband here and it's loose, it's tied. Let me just do this. Let's get that finger out. That pointing finger hand is a little weird. So let's do, uh, let's do a fist. Change these out real quick before we get no pose. Ooh, tight. Tight, all right, that's tight. Let's get this one off. Yeah. You hear that? Wow. Now, he's a, a nice veins here. We have nice veins coming through here, here, here. Um, wrong hand. That's weird. I kind of want to do a karate hand. So fists are a little tight, but that's good. You don't want them to be too loosey-goosey that they, they fall right out. But you also want to be careful that when you put it in there, you don't snap it off. I didn't think I'd have to twist it in. I'm going to put the karate hand in now. I really like this one. Love that one. It's very that's a karate pose. Very thin, ooh, very thin wrists. 
Now, what's funny is I've done some of these figures I've done with NECA with the very thin wrists I did at Christopher Reeve Superman, and it just whoosh, just broke. And I was really, really upset because I'd had that thing in the box for like 10 years, and I finally took them out. So let's do, uh, let's do a Johnny pose here with the karate. Do the fist this way, and we'll do that way. So... I do not have, as I always say, the flattest surface. So that's always a challenge for me. But he looks cool. Put him back a little bit further. Not bad. On his own. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so let's see if we can do... The problem with, problem with these arms is it's usually a weight balance ratio. That might be the other side. And sometimes just taking out one of the pieces is enough just so that you can establish him like in a good pose just like it might be this is like too much armature um i definitely feel that way so maybe if we just take out this piece switch this out do this at the bottom and then put this in up here so it's nice that, that they give you a very long armature but how much of a karate pose do you need to put johnny in i mean you could this works fairly well at this height i mean move back this height if you wanted to do something of him in the air, I have a little problem. It's just a really tight, snug fit for Johnny. There you go. And you kind of want to give him like, you know, if, if you, since he it is a karate figure, you kind of want to like put it up, but you wish you could do something a little bit more. Yeah. I'm just, this is nice, but I have so many problems with them. And I'm, you know, do I got to do one foot in and then do this one like that? You know, like, is that what I'm going for? You know, it's, it's, I don't know. It, it just, it doesn't work sometimes for me. It's nice to have that balance beam in the back to get some sort of pose, but I'm not really feeling like the feet can do what you want them to do for, for karate. You know, you want to give him some sort of thing that he's in, in air, but the arms are posing very well. Um, so it's a bit of more of a balance. So that's not too bad. Not hundred percent happy with it, but you know, you kind of want the foot to be like, you want to give him like a karate foot. Like, what are you doing? Are you doing this? Like when I do Daniel for the crane, is he going to do the crane? And we'll find out. So that's not too bad. So as as figures go, he doesn't quite look like Billy Zabka. That could be multiple reasons. It could be licensing right. It could be the actor doesn't want to be on an action figure. Um, you know, so lots of questions like that. Um, as a Cobra Kai figure, he's pretty cool. Um, as a as a karate figure, he's really has nice details, and the gi is really has a uh, textures here to show where the the edge of the gi would be and such. So not a bad figure overall. But let's get into. Um, Overall, like prices, he's twenty nine ninety nine. Um, is he a twenty nine ninety nine figure? That is up to you. Um, it's kind of the standard industry now, where prices are rising. Um, it's getting more and more difficult to get a cheaper figure. The way of the world, prices, manufacturing, you know, all of those things are changing. Uh, and I think it's redefining how uh, we dedicate our money and our fandom and our collections. So definitely want to check them out. I'll have a link here and look for our other reviews of the other two figures here on Total Toy Recon. Thank you.